Hello guys, welcome back to sportsbookreview.com. The competition is heating up and we are in the finals. Uh, we're gonna start today, uh, Stan Wawrinka versus Rafael Nadal. Kind of sad to see uh, see Andy Murray is not in the competition, but both of you predicted Stan Wawrinka to come through. So not a surprise uh, there. Um, Alex from Need for Tips and Joao from mdtennistipster.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Hey, now, Alex, first of all, tell us how you've been doing. You've been busy over at Bookmakers Review, Bookmakers News, and Odds Market. Uh, how have you been doing with your in-play tips? We did great. Today we predicted uh, over 30, uh, over 40.5 games in uh, uh, Vavrinka versus Murray's game. Uh, we predicted also yesterday, of course, with Joao Vavrinka to, to win. Uh, we didn't do so, so good uh, on the on the other semi-final. I thought that uh, Dominic Thiem will uh, take at least one set uh, from Nadal, but I think that um, he was a little uh, under pressure because it was his first uh, semi-final in a Grand Slam and uh, playing with the king of clay. And I don't think that uh, he he managed to 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 cope with it. So he lost 3-0. Unbelievable uh, uh, performance by Nadal. All um, all tournament long, he he performed at the best level. I think that I, I think that right now he is better than the, the last time that uh, he won the Roland Garros. So I think that uh, we, he will not have any anything to bother with in the final. Wow. Okay. Uh, just quickly for our viewers, I'm going to show. Uh, let me pull it up, and here we go. Yeah, Joao. Yeah. This is Joao's. Joao doesn't need to tell us because I have been tracking his record. Uh, he has to date given us 49 picks in total, all free over two weeks every single day. 32 wins, 14 losses, three voids, um, an accuracy of 65.3%, a profit of 12 units, absolutely incredible, and an ROI, a return of investment of 124.5 units. Let, absolutely incredible. Hey Natalie, let, let, let me explain a little bit how, what it means 12 units of profit after two weeks of, uh, of uh, Roland Garros of a Grand Slam. Uh, with, um, with a flat bet of of, uh, 50 50 euros i think that you should be right now uh, 600 uh, euros on profit or dollars or whatever so with a flat bet of 50 of them or with a flat bet of 10 you will be 120 uh, on profit so it's incredible if you look on the long term you should go with joao because he's doing incredible in tennis yeah, no, how we're doing in football, how we're doing in football, team <laughs> bankroll in football, like that Joao is doing in tennis. Exactly, yeah, the master of the tennis court, like Rafael on, uh, Nadal on uh, clay court. But listen, let's get on. Uh, Varinka versus Nadal, he's looking very strong, like you said. Uh, very low odds there to win. Uh, 1.22, uh, very not, not much value in that at all. Stan Varinka, 5.5. Uh, Alex, we'll start with you. What are you, uh, what are you going for in this match? I'm going with uh, Nadal minus 1.5, uh, like uh, Joao was going uh, today uh, with Nadal versus Dominic Thiem. I think that Vavrinka is the type of uh, person that um, he knows how to play against Nadal. He won against Nadal a lot of times, and also on clay, and also Grand Slam, also uh, Roland Garros um, for, uh, for Stan the man, Stan Vavrinka. And I think that he will put a lot of problems, but Nadal at this high level of performance right now, I think it's incredible. I think that we are seeing a robot on clay, a robot that uh, is performing in amazing. Uh, so Nadal at minus 1.5, I think it, it comes around 1.7, 1.75. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts there um, on that, Joao? Do you agree with Alex? Have you got something else? No, I'm going the, the opposite way on, on, on this match. Uh, the, the line that, that Alex mentioned was the, the minus 1.5 set handicap, right? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, available now, 135, 145, around that. I don't know if that was... Whoa. Yeah. When the money line is 1.20, you only get around that. Uh, the match against him, we got 1.5 on that, on the minus 1.5, and he was at 1.25 on the money line. So. Uh, you won't get much higher than this, I think. So, so okay, okay. If you if you are saying, uh, but I I checked uh, a little bit early when 
when the odds were uh, were out. But uh, if it is like that, I'm going with under over in totals uh, in total games over 35 games in the match at 1.71. Okay, so changing the bet there, getting the better odds. Shua, what have you got? Yeah, we, we like I was saying, we go the the opposite way on the, the set handicap run with stand to win win one set against against Rafa. I think that this is will be the, this is going to be the, the first real challenge that Nadal is going to have on this tournament. Uh, he had a very easy tournament, although he's play, he's playing great. But until the semifinals, he didn't have any real any real opposition. And in the semifinals, uh, unfortunately, Tiem couldn't perform at at his best. Uh, what we mentioned yesterday that uh, he might struggle to to play to play at the high level in back to back matches like he did against Djokovic. Uh, the same happened to him a few weeks ago in Rome. He played exceptionally well against against uh, against Nadal. Sorry. And then against Djokovic, he completely collapsed. And even his 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 coach uh, Bresnik mentioned before the tournament that Thiem's main problem at the moment is to be able to compete at, against the best players in, in consecutive rounds. So I don't think that Nadal had any real challenge. While the other hand, uh, while on the other hand, uh, Vavrinka showed why he's the, probably the the best player in the world on, on Grand Slam events when he's playing at his best on on majors. It's, it's very hard for, for anyone to stop him. And today, Murray played exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that if we look at, if for those who follow the match, I think that that's the, the, the fair result would be TM, uh, would be Vavrinka to win by 5-0 because he, he should have won each set. He had many leads, but uh, Murray always found a way to, to emerge victorious in the, in the first and the third set. But Vavrinka overall played at a, a great level with more than 80 winners. And although Nadal is a, is a, a great player on this surface, you know, he's looking for the, the 10th title in, in, in Roland Garros, the value is definitely on the on the other side. And stand to win just one set at 1.73 on, on Pinnacle presents great value. And I think that, that Swiss will win at least one set and it wouldn't be surprising to see him winning a, another Grand Slam event. He has a, a perfect record on final. So I'm, 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 I'm chewing that he can do that, but only going with a plus 2.5 set handicap. All right, so uh, Sandra having to win one set, and Alex, to recap, what's your bet? Uh, but if it is to take uh, Vavrinka to win at least one set, uh, even um, like that, I think that the odds are bigger if we are going uh, on the games market, because I think that uh, over 30, 36.5, it's around 1.8 right now. So I think that I will stick with um, my over 35 games on the Asian Handicap. All right, so we go two bets uh, from two great tennis tipsters there. Stay tuned. We're just about to move over to the women's side. Joao, Alex, thanks, uh, thanks for your tips for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.